What a wild and fun night it was in Austin, Texas, Sunday. If you weren't there, you missed a heck of a party at the University of Texas, the SEC celebration. It was one for the books. What a lot of people don't know about Texas and the SEC, though, is that this story has been 35 years in the making. And you heard me right when I say that. In 1989, Texas had originally agreed to join the SEC along with Arkansas. Unfortunately, the Texas legislature caught wind of that move and told the SEC, you cannot have Texas unless you take Texas A&M as well. And at that point in time, there just was not a lot of mutual interest between A&M and the SEC. And because of that, in 89, Texas couldn't join the Southeastern Conference. As they say, the rest is history. Texas A&M, Tech, and Baylor went on to form the Big 12 Conference instead with the member schools of the Big 8. And since that moment in time, since 1989, Texas has been trying to make its way home to the SEC. Well, it took 35 years, but eventually Texas did just that. Texas came home to the Southeastern Conference. And what a glorious day it is. Now, if you want more info about this story, I'll attach a couple of articles down in the description box below. Uh, one of the articles is from Paul Feinbaum. The other is from The Tennessean. Both of them are great reads. Now, it took us a while to get here, but we finally made it. 2024 is the year Texas came home to the SEC. This is Kevin in Texas saying God bless you, hook them horns, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.